Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I want him to get knocked Monday to Monday like you got them other kids. I want my week free. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. This is the disclaimer. If you've already been sensitive to my content when it comes to my commentary about Gator Gabble Jaws and her baby out of wedlock, Monster Slaw, go ahead and get the fucking step and hit the dough. Because I'm not going to lie, this video is going to be hard for me to make, but I'm trying to make some points here. And unfortunately, we live in a world where people don't really care what happens to other women unless it's happening to them. And don't tell me not to speak on kids. I'm going to speak on children. I'm going to speak on adults. I'm going to speak on real life. This is a hoe that has stalked, taunted, humiliated and harassed another woman and her children. The shit we are about to unpack over the time that we uncover everything that was going on behind the scenes will be a testament to her character. Because it's a lot of shit that I want to say. So let's get into it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. I need y'all to follow me, but I want to give you guys some background to what it is that we are trying to unpack today. Slarion took to her Instagram to delete some photos of her baby out of wedlock and there are reasons why she has chosen to do this but what is interesting is she's choosing to do this now but she never had this plan in the beginning back in 2022 male's baby mama and gator gabber jaws allegedly were making attempts to put out revenge p on melody male's baby mama sent her a text in 2022 threatening her with this male went to instagram to let us know she ain't scared of threats and then things kind of went ghost in 2023, the summertime, Carson came out and let us know that Gator Gabble Jaws was planning to expose Mill's tape that she had with her baby mama, but they were trying to lie and say that it was another man. We've also heard her on a plethora of platforms laughing and, and giggling about it, so she was very much aware of this tape and seemingly had watched it. When Carson came out and exposed what she knew of Gator Gabble Jaws in this tape, that was all of around May 2023. We also know the court case with Mel's baby mama and Melody had just concluded where the custody agreement was kept the same. The only differences were at that point where the kids were not allowed to post on social media. However, immediately after that court date, he had took to social media to start posting baby slaw. I want y'all to pay attention to the dates of all of this because Mel's baby mama do not do anything for no reason reason he's a revengeful person he's vindictive he's manipulative and everything that he has done publicly can be proven that he was doing evil shit behind the scenes the whole time him posting baby slaw was him retaliating to melody and being upset that he couldn't get any of the funds to sugar mama i want y'all to see that he has this picture here with baby slaw and that is june the 9th 2023 but we're gonna come back to that give me a second ho i'm gonna make sure i honor your wishes and post when you looking bad as fuck so we already know that slarion alibaba boutique was shut down and really we already know it was never open her only customer was peggy and hag but some of you guys have been dming me and letting me know that slarion had been taking photos off of her instagram when it comes to her baby out of wedlock and bitch let me let you know something ho that's not how it worked, bitch. You don't get to go start taking shit off your motherfucking Instagram when you wanted your fucking baby to be a star this whole time, which is why you started posting his motherfucking ass after his daddy took his ex-wife to court and said that he didn't want his siblings posted on social media, ho. Bitch, you're going down. Let me tell y'all something. Behind the scenes, these two hoes are going the fuck down. And they think they're smart, but you're not, bitch. Y'all are vindictive. That's all y'all are. Resentful. That's it. Brains, no. Beauty, girl, stop. 
which is why you play second best to a man who's still obsessed with his ex-wife. Now, with that being said, as you guys can see here, there's a picture of Baby Slaw right here next to that raggedy ass bow picture. But for whatever reason, Gobble Jaws took that shit down. Now, I'm obviously not surprised because Mel's baby mama is an idiot and he don't think in advance. He lacks foresight. So he didn't think this out once he asked Mel to not post the kids on social media due to his fraudulent reasons and then turned around the next month to start posting the baby that he had out of wedlock. If Armadillo Pouch Gator Gobble Jaws don't see it by now, then who are we? She's never going to see that Mel's baby mama don't like her. He hates her and fact or else he wouldn't keep putting her in a position to fail and at some point as a woman she should have stepped in and not let, allowed herself to be used as a pawn in this back and forth thing that is clearly one-sided with Mel's baby mama because he's the one that's continuing to go back and forth with Mel and it's like if she is all of these negative things that you are trying to convince the world of why are you continuously holding on to whatever you guys had in the past. Gator Gabber Jaws cleared up all of the photos that she had with Mill's baby mama, son out of wedlock, but of course, she kept the photos of Paris on her page. And I'm going to show you guys that later because I believe there's a reason why she's doing this. Obviously, Martel is trying to make it seem as though he is trying to be fair and consistent across the board when we know that's a lie. Let's go back to the article real quick. It says, even though the ex's divorce was initially finalized in March 2021, they went back to court the following year to modify their custody agreement. It says, although everything was thought to be resolved, Melody filed a new petition in July 2023 to modify legal custody and the visitation schedule mainly due to Martel's alleged mental and emotional abuse of the minor children. So Mel is doing what's right because after their initial court date, like I said, he then a month later created a page for his baby out of wedlock, even though he told the court that he didn't want any of his kids on social media. That year, it was also revealed that Mel's baby mama and his gator gabble jaws Armadillo Pouched Flunky was trying to release Revenge P out on mail. Obviously, that is grounds to take him back to court to figure out how we're going to redo this custody arrangement. And we reported on that court date, but it was continued because Mel's baby mama didn't have a lawyer. They were scheduled to go back to court in, on the 30th of this year but again that was pushed back to April because Mel's baby mama need to go through a psychiatric evaluation so here for hot tea why are you telling us all of this because dumb and dumber think that they are slick and think that there is not documents of them literally posting the baby out of wetlock all over social media while in the same breath he's trying to say that he's concerned for his other children being on social media so if if that's the facts, then why is the baby out of wetlock on social media? Now, Slarion is a fool and she's an idiot. So she deleted baby out of wetlock off of her social media. However, she completely forgot, or maybe she do remember, but don't care that baby out of wetlock got his own Instagram page, which they started after his court date with Melody stating that he didn't want his kids posted on social media. As you guys can see, Baby Out of Wetlock first Instagram post was June the 2nd, 2023. Even though not sure which of the two dumbass parents created his Instagram February 2023. Martel and Mel's baby mama were already in court. I'm just trying to map it out and let you guys know that everything Mel's baby mama do is to be evil and vindictive. It's never about his children. He do not care about his kids, not even the one he had out of wedlock. He only uses that one to get back at Mel or else something like this would never be in his paperwork. On December 11, 2023, he allegedly threatened to tear them up once their divorce case was over, referring to their minor kids, and said in a separate filing from December the 14th that he even offered to allow the children to be on the television show if he could use corporal punishment 
in the future. So he wants to use corporal punishment in the future, but complaining that Mel gave Sugar Mama a spanking, if that's true. But again, if he was genuinely concerned about his children and their well-being and truly didn't want them on social media, then that will go across the board for all of the five kids. But we know Mel's baby mama don't give a fuck about the baby out of wedlock because that baby will always remind him of everything that he lost. It's crazy because it says the own star goes on to accuse Melody of violating their agreement of not filming with their children and also posting about them on social media. And that is not in the agreement. She can post about them. She cannot post them physically. So what the issue is, is why can she not talk about her children, even though she's not posting them, but you can go and post a baby that you had out of wedlock while you were in your marriage with the woman that was taunting and harassing your ex-wife and her children. See, because Mel's baby mama is a hook and curb clown. He's the type of person that truly only cares about being vindictive and revengeful and getting his payback. Ultimately, if you think about the entire situation, he doesn't care about the baby out of wedlock. He only uses the baby out of wedlock as a tool to go against Melody. And ultimately, I don't give a fuck how he chooses to use his baby out of wedlock that he had within his marriage because Slarion Gator Gabble Jaws Armadillo Pouch allows him to do the things that he does to his son and her son. When he does evil manipulative shit to them kids, it's male's children she feels good about that that makes her feel like he loves her son more than them children or male's kids and that is the type of bitch that she is she encourages him to be a nasty vindictive person because he does not put as much effort and energy into her children even though she suffered and went through all of that shit in order to have the damn baby out of wedlock even though the damn daddy was in a fucking marriage. Slarion too slow to know when she's being used as a tool to get back at another woman. And if she like it, I love it. She literally wasted her entire youth on this hoe. And he was a married man. What an idiot. And she got a baby out of this and no benefits. He don't even have a job so he can put baby slot on his insurance, love. So my theory is Mel's baby mama has asked her to stop posting the baby out of wedlock just so it can seem like he's neutral across the board when it's already documented that you only have these requirements for Mel and her children because you're obsessed with her. You can care less about these two, which is why you use them and drop them off whenever you feel like you're, you've are you gotten what you need. But what's so sad is all of this started because he couldn't be accountable and ultimately have discipline and be a man. He continued to cheat, so Mel left him. Instead of him just letting it be what it is, he took this damn lady to court for full custody of her kids he tried to get ch uh, child support and the reason why he claimed to be taking her to court for full custody of her children that's male was because he claimed that she had too many babysitters even though one of the babysitters was his fucking blood cousin and two of them was her mom and her brother other than that she hasn't had more more babysitters than that but he's gun hold or was gun hold at the time to try to prove that she shouldn't have that many babysitters. But ultimately, she needed babysitters because she had to get divorced from you and you cannot continue to provide for them the way that you once used to because she was the breadwinner. So she has to go out and get the money to be able to afford them the lifestyle that you can't. What's even more unfortunate in the midst of the whole babysitter controversy lie, because we know it was a lie, he was not being cooperative with the people that Mel was trying to hire as nannies and babysitters. And part of my belief is he didn't want to pay half of the babysitting fees because he ultimately couldn't afford it. But it's so crazy how you would harass and taunt and ridicule Mel for asking her mother and her brother and your cousin, which granted, she probably shouldn't have asked your criminalistic ass fucking cousin, but asking anybody and y'all family to watch the children so she can go out and make money but you are perfectly okay with the hoe that was comparing the baby out of wedlock to your original children you're well you are okay with her watching your kids even though she has literally expressed having a clear disdain and jealousy for the children that you share with your ex-wife and i have 
listed all of that proof in this video. I hope I don't get striked, but I will try to post this video on my husband's channel as well because you guys know I'm going to be using that as a backup channel. He doesn't give Gator Gabba Jaws cold sore armadillo pouch these issues because he simply don't care about her and that baby. They can't provide him with the lifestyle that he once had or the lifestyle that he desires, which is why at one point she was complaining about him not getting his children or not getting the baby that he had out of wedlock. You don't want to get him every other week. So at one point, he wasn't getting baby monster slaw out of wedlock every other week or the same time frame he would have the M&M kids, mainly because the fucking boy is bad. Let's just call a spade a spade. But he also has said on a plethora of occasions that having five kids is hard and he can't take care of all five kids at one time. I thought it was very frustrating that he was trying to get upset with Mel for having having people watch her children and honestly they were only family members her mother and her brother so the fact that he was making a big deal out of the woman that you cheated on for five plus years and had a baby on needed help raising four children when you need help with the one that you got out of wedlock alone and let me just sidebar because I've gotten 15 minutes into the video and didn't do a disclaimer I'm not shading women that have had children out of wedlock because at the at the end of the day like men are diabolical and despicable and I ultimately blame them for not solidifying their families I am calling him baby out of wedlock because this woman has harassed taunted and tried to hu humiliate another woman and her children on a plethora of occasions she's compared her son to these children as if her son isn't their siblings on a number of occasions she has showed her clear disdain for these children on a number of occasions and this is the same woman that Mel's baby mama is allowing to watch his children the ones that he has shown a disdain for so I'm gonna need for y'all to have some depth when it comes to that and know that I'm not directly attacking anybody that has had a child out of wedlock because ain't nobody motherfucking perfect so if you've already made your way to my comment section expressing your insecurities about me using the term out of wedlock before you made it to this part of the video understood or understand I probably already got in the comment section and cussed your motherfucking ass out for leaving an opinion without watching the entire video because I don't like that shit I be answering the very things that y'all be saying in the comment section but because you didn't want to watch the whole video you want to go comment some shit that I already fucking addressed but this was way back when and he was trying to claim that Mill was such a bad parent so he said if our kids are with you all the time, I wouldn't have you in court for allowing over 24 people to watch them. Very scary situation. Somebody let this woman know that other people have facts too. We have whole court coming up. That says that you don't have time for the kids except for pictures and videos for social media. He then says, said I was a good dad until we divorced. Being with you didn't make me a good father. Being a good father is just who I am. You didn't have time for me and the kids while we were married as same as now the reason for 24 babysitters we don't get or oh, I'm sorry y'all we don't owe each other anything but to be co good co-parents so this was way back when when he was trying to convince the world that he was such a good fucking dad but I was letting y'all know way back when if he was such a good dad then he wouldn't have to continue to repeat that he was such a good dad if he was such a good dad then he wouldn't be attacking the person that he cheated on for five plus years and had a baby on her which is why ultimately she had to terminate the marriage if he was such a good dad he wouldn't have been going out to cheat on the woman that he shared the four kids with during covid but male's baby mama is evil and manipulative and he knew what he was doing of course having 24 people watching your children is a scary situation but that is not the case and that wasn't the case ever but he sat down and tried to make it seem like male had all these people watching his kids in one day do y'all remember the video that i did he had multiple people holding his daughters multiple people watching his kids all these men around his kids he had his children on the back of a fucking pickup truck and they had on dress but he really tried to sit on social media and say that male was a bad parent male was doing this male was doing that fuck nigga and i'm sorry for my language y'all this hoe got his children around a woman that has clear disdain for them 
If that is not a bad parent, I don't know what is. You have subjected your children to sharing a life with someone that despises them because of who their fucking mother is. And you don't want to see it and you refuse to see it and you refuse to address your children's emotions and feelings because you want to stick it to their fucking mama and ultimately it's going to end up biting your ugly ass in the fucking ass so you and marlboro marlene go ahead and sit up over there and conjure up more lies to make yourselves feel good about being an inadequate waste of space ultimately because your coddling ass mama raised you up to be the waste of breath that you actually are you went out here creating all of this chaos and confusion to all of these children you got five kids that are gonna have to deal with this shit emotionally we know your ugly ass don't care now because the only thing that you're focused on is trying to make Mill look bad but ultimately bitch you're gonna have to deal with yourself whether that's when you walk to the heaven gates or if that's alone or if that's when you walk down to fucking hell with that being said y'all the rest of this video is going to be a compilation of these hoes lying being vindictive you're gonna see slarion comparing her baby out of wedlock to sugar mama because for whatever reason she was convinced that her son was more advanced than sugar mama even though the motherfucker couldn't say a full sentence y'all get in the comments let me know what you got to say about all this don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that i upload we went to court and um <clears throat> You know, I asked for us to have a mediation, and I just asked for six simple things, like no man watch the kids, and if you fly to town, make sure you call me before you call any other thing. So give me first right, you know, and I'm gonna do the same thing. At least you can call, and you be willing to watch your kids. Right. You got a lot of dads out here don't care about don't care about kids. Right. Oh, God. Ooh. Mm -mm. Yeah. If I was that type of father, then she'll be trying to chase me down. Then if I was a dad that wasn't here, then she try to chase me down, you know. But she just said basically no, and she said she'll pull that. She ain't gonna cause the difference. I know, no. I asked for full test because I didn't like some of the things that she was doing. That's what prompted her to say now she wants full test. So we have to go to trial. What? Right. With them y'all's kids, y'all should be able to work some out. Oh, right. Because, you know, to have somebody to tell you how to do with your kids, I wouldn't tell nobody. It's horrible. It's awful. You know, I tried to talk to her, like, like, let's come to an agreement. She don't even want to do it. I'm like, why not? Why do we need to go and spend $40,000, $50,000? You know what I'm saying? My attorney said we get that, that 10000 bill for, for 20 some days. I got mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> the 20th day. When we were in court, I said that I would much rather go to mediation so we can go ahead and resolve this instead of going to trial and things of that nature. Because to me, it's all unnecessary. Millie and her attorney objected to that, uh, but the judge granted it to us and whatnot. So, you know, I paid for mediation. I sent over my request um, to Melody and her attorney. They stayed on it for about 30, 40 minutes to only send back, you know, a request of she just won't full custody. I'm like, what? So, I see there was no compromise. So, I told my attorney, we're not going back and forth. I left. Knox is party training for Milani. Bye bye. Bye. All right, Knox, tell him bye bye. Right there, hit for tat. Hit for fucking tat. Bye bye. Bye. All right, knock. Tell him bye bye. Bye. They're a year apart, so whatever she can do, he can do. No, no, a water or apple juice. Mom, I have this. No. Mom, <laughs> mom. I don't know what's into you today. Y'all better go get this little girl. No, you can get some water or apple juice, not a Capri Sun. That's for the weekends. No. Yes. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No. Now go put that up, okay, and bring mommy the apple juice or water. Nope, ma'am. <laughs> mommy. That's why they're going to absorb nasty. But mommy, look. That's just Spider-Man, son. Because y'all just. Ugh. Oh, my God, mommy, son. No. No, ma'am? Okay. It's, it's some apple cider. You don't want it? Uh-huh. 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 Okay. He taught her how to, he showed her to go to the potty. They're a handful. We had, we had a good time. We still having a good time. So we about to eat. You ready to eat, Knox? Y'all hear little Knox? It's him. He's talking about he ready to eat. He's been potty trained since January. Well, he actually been potty trained since one, but sometimes, like um, at nighttime, I do put a pull up on him because he has accidents sometimes. Like my mom, she would get up in the middle of the night two times and blame his bed for me. But my son is potty trained. He tells me when he is ready to go to the bathroom. On oh, no water. Because what? 
You gotta ask them for some juice. Ask them. She don't really wanna ask. Okay, babe, I'll give you something in the moment, okay? All right. You gotta go jump in the, um, the bouncer and go down the slide and I'll give you a juice. Right? <laughs> you got grass on you, son? They're a handful. We had, we had a good time. We still having a good time. So we about to eat. You ready to eat, Knox? We out here, little Knox. It's him. He's talking about he ready to eat. All right, Melania, tell him bye so I'll get you a juice. Say bye-bye. Bye. All right, Knox, tell him bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> y'all other kids, got between y'all, y'all both got, like, that was between a marriage. Yeah, yeah. I pull up Roto Winner, Johnny. I pull up Roto Winner, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. I pull up Roto Winner, Johnny. Oh, 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 oh,